This is not my bed because I'm in Orlando right now. I am here for the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Pageant and Miss America Orientation. There are so many things going on this week. I can't contain my excitement. And I also got to go to Disney World, so this is practically the best week ever. We got to Orlando on Friday, and then on Saturday, I got to visit one of our sponsors, Regalia, to pick out my Miss America evening gown, along with pretty much all the rest of my wardrobe for Miss America. It was so exciting. I am so excited to show you my competition wardrobe and what I'll be wearing for Miss America. So, listen up. If you are in the Seattle area on August 20th, or even if you're not, you are invited to my send-off party. It's going to be at the Renton Pavilion, and this is the only place where I will be showing my Miss America wardrobe before Miss America. And I would love to have you there to see your sweet face before I leave for Atlantic City. So, August 20th, put it down in your calendar, come see me, we're gonna have a great time. Sunday I got to go to Disney World, it was amazing. I mean, how can it not be amazing? It's Disney World. I got this awesome apron for my apron collection. It has Chip and Dale on it with a little acorn pocket. I also got these precious Mickey ears with my name on the back of them. Thank you to Ellie. Oh, and then I also got these cute little um, Mickey and Minnie pins. I don't know if you can see them from this far away. Probably not. Um, but they're super cute. Then on Monday, we went shoe shopping. Now, this was crazy. We got to Dillard's at 12 in the afternoon. The next time I looked at my watch, it was 3 o'clock. We had literally gone shoe shopping for three hours. We had shoes everywhere. I've never tried on so many shoes in my whole life. I felt like I was in Princess Diaries walking through this closet of never ending clothes and shoes. So definitely scored on the shoe department. Then we got some lunch and went back to Dillard's to look at the clothes. Well, we spent another three hours in Dillard's. So needless to say, we spent six hours in one store and we didn't even make it to the rest of the mall. But I'm fine with that because I'm not really a big shopper anyway. So I'm glad I was able to find all my stuff. Thank you, Dillard's. Yesterday was Tuesday. I just relaxed by the pool and it was the first preliminary for Miss America's Outstanding Team. So I got to watch my sweet teen Tia do her talent. Oh my God. She's so cute. She's so amazing and she nailed it. She did a fun little jazz dance and I was so impressed, not just by her, but with all the other teens that were here. This week is so special for me because in 2011, I got to come to Miss America's Outstanding Teen and I stayed in the same hotel on these same beds. Being back here is so surreal because when I came as a teen contestant, I learned something so important. As you know, I didn't win Miss America's Outstanding Teen. At the time, I was really disappointed because that was my dream. It was something I, I just truly thought was in the plan for my life. Looking back, I'm glad it wasn't. The things that happened in my life wouldn't have happened if I was Miss America's Outstanding Teen. And because I didn't win, I learned such an important lesson. I learned that I didn't need a crown and banner that said Miss America's Outstanding Teen to be Miss America's Outstanding Teen. Because I could be that person every single day through my actions and through the way I treated people. And it didn't depend on whether or not I was even wearing a crown. It's about a lifestyle. Coming to Orlando and losing Miss America's Outstanding Teen helped me realize that I could be her every single day, but it was a choice that I had to make in my heart. It blows my mind that I'm back in this place, but now I'm on the other side and I get to be the miss. I'm the mentor and I get to watch my teen go through the same experience that I did. So this morning I woke up and did some filming with Dick Clark Productions for the Miss America show, which was so much fun. I love making videos, clearly. And then, okay y'all, this was so cool. I got to meet Sherry Hill, like the Sherry Hill. Ah! I had a little fangirl moment because her boxes have shown up on my doorstep before and it's been so exciting. Every girl loves to open a Sherry Hill box, but to meet her in person. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. She's an angel, she's a queen. She's like the fairy godmother. I walked into her suite and there were just racks of white dresses and I got to go down and pick, them, pick out the ones I liked. And then the best part, I got to take one home. Honestly, I'm just blown away by this whole experience. Thank you Sherry Hill for your generous sponsorship of the Miss America program. I can't wait to wear your dress on the stage. If you want to follow more of my adventures, um, follow me at Miss America Wa on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, because that's where I'll be posting live updates of tonight's show and the rest of the week. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am so thankful that you watched this week and that I get to talk to you from Orlando. Hope you're having an awesome day. We'll see you next time.